Hey guys, welcome to screencast number 17. So the Olympic season is on and I thought what better to do in this season than create a set of Olympic medals using SAS. We are going to be using the Compass Framework which is a subset of SAS in order to build the Olympic medals. Now let's quickly get started. Let's create a folder on our desktop. We'll call it Olympic medals. I'll just drag and drop the folder into Atom. So Atom is the code editor I'll be using. And along with Atom, I also need to drag and drop this folder into CodeKit. So CodeKit will be the application which will help us to compile the SAS because SAS cannot be recognized by the web browsers. So we have to convert it into proper readable CSS. Okay, so let's begin our project by creating the index.html file. So there's nothing much you need to write in this HTML file. We just need to include three divs with the IDs gold, silver, and bronze. That's it. And we obviously need to link our CSS file. So we'll start by linking the CSS file. As easy as that. Now next, we will create the div with the ID of silver. So in a podium, in a winner's podium, the silver comes the rightmost, then comes the gold, and then comes the bronze. Next, we'll create the div of gold with the ID gold. And next we will create the bronze so with this we are done with our HTML file we don't need to open it again or look back to it so the next file we need is the style.sas and make sure you type the extension correctly now there is a SCSS extension even and there's a SAS extension so Compass is a subset of SAS and not SCSS. So if you type the extension incorrectly, CodeKit or whichever compiler you're using, it'll fail to compile your SAS file. So let's begin by defining a function. So we'll start with the do metal function. This is the function that will draw the metal on our canvas. And this will have three arguments, one of band, the second of metal, and the third of size now what we will do is first the width will define it as size the height will also be defined as size whatever size we have passed the background we will define the background by the color we pass so in the form of metal the second argument we will pass in the color and linear gradient uh, we will have a 45 degree gradient because we want a darker overlay on our metal so that will give it the extra effect we need the rgba value would be a transparent black and you can see i have this extension in atom called pigments which shows the colors as you type in and you can even convert to hexadecimal rgb or any other format or copy it as hexadecimal rgb or any other format of color this is pretty neat so the border we will set a border because we want the metals band to start after a small gap so that's why we are creating a border so we will determine the border by dividing the size by 15 we'll keep it to solid and we will keep the color white we also have a border radius. The border radius would be set at 50%. So basically it would have a curve because our metals are round. The position would be relative. Now we are going to add two pseudo elements of before and after. Now if you want to know more about pseudo elements, you can check out a full course that I build on pseudo elements and you'll get to know everything you need to know about pseudo elements. So we are going to define the pseudo elements by saying and before. We have a content. The width will again be size divided by 2.5. The height would be the size divided by 0.7. Next we'll specify a background. In the background we'll specify a darken function. So what this darken function does is it takes in a color and mixes that color with the percentage of black specified so we are going to take the color of the band and we are going to mix that color with 10 percent of black why we are doing this because the band will be placed in a v-shape above the metal so we want the band to have a depth 
so one portion of the band will be lighter in color and the other portion will be a bit darker position again absolute there will be a top and left value so we'll determine the top by dividing the size by minus 0.7 and we'll determine the left value by dividing size by 1.6 the z index would be minus 1 again if you don't understand this do check out my course on pseudo elements you'll get to know everything that is there again we will specify an after component and inside this the same thing will happen except we don't want the color to be darkened and we also don't want a left value as this will be the left portion of the band and also we want to transform it by rotating it 15 degrees to the left and we forgot one thing here because we want to transform this by rotating this 15 degrees to the right so similarly we can do 15 degrees to the left for the left portion of the band so transform rotate 15 degrees to the right so positive 15 degrees and here we will transform it by 15 degrees to the left that is negative 15 degrees once we have done that you can see as we save the file the code kit application gave us a notification that success compiled style dot sass but we don't want it compiled this way so we will just open our folder and delete this CSS file I don't like the CSS being compiled in a separate folder so we'll just close this out and we will have a look at the configuration file that we have in our code kit so here the file generates an output file to a folder called CSS we don't want that so we'll remove that by simply going into the folder the main folder and it will generate a style.css directly into the folder we also want to run an auto prefix on the CSS file and a bless on the CSS file so bless is for IE compatibility I like to run it though even after running bless some things are there that will not in the IE browser so this is the thing we are looking for we are looking for an output to style.css inside the main folder because we have referenced it that way in our index.html file so we are done with the code kit configuration uh, this will watch the folder and whenever we save this file again uh, it'll again generate a CSS file so no need to worry about that now we are done with this function okay so we will have some basic styling for the body we will set a margin of 100 pixels okay now we start with the metals now the gold metal will float it to the left it'll have a margin of 15 pixels top and right 30 pixels bottom and left and we will call this function now so we define the function with an equal sign and we'll be calling that function with a plus sign now you can understand the relation so basically it's saying that add that function here in this particular definition so we'll call the do metal and we have to specify three values the color of the band the color of the metal and the size of the metal the color of the band would be a violet color and we will specify golden color for the metal itself so again with the help of pigments I will be able to visualize the color which is very good and we'll set the size to 30 pixels and the same could be done for the silver and the bronze metals even so silver here the band color goes at a little darker purple the metal color goes at a silver color and the size will be a little smaller than the gold medal obviously at 25 pixels as you can see I saved the file that's why code could compile it to a style.css file the last one for the bronze band color would be another shade of purple and bronze color would be again this will be 5 pixels smaller than the silver medal now again we'll save the file and the compilation is successful so we are done with our sas file so within 42 lines we have written quite a lot of code and that you'll understand if you see the css file 
So as you can see, the CSS file is almost 100 lines long. So with SAS and Compass, we were able to save almost 50 lines of code. And that's a lot. And that's the reason why I like SAS so much. So before we end this screencast, we must go ahead and look what we have made. I can just go ahead into the folder and we will open it in Chrome. Okay, so there seems to be some problem with the positioning of the metals and that's precisely because we haven't specified any different positioning for the silver and the bronze metals. So we will turn this margin to positive 15 pixels and 30 pixels and we will turn this to 30 pixels all around. And now if we save it again, wait for the compilation and refresh this page, you can see the metals are arranged perfectly in the way it should be arranged in a podium and the colors look beautiful. So that was all for this screencast. If you like my videos, do subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. This is Upamanyu signing off. Thank you.